Out of all the snack foods out there, popcorn is definitely one of the most popular. While by no means healthy, its taste and ability to make any kind of movie or entertainment media much better makes up for it in the end. Hell, even the annoyance of getting a kernel stuck in your teeth is made up for by the fact that once you get it out, you get a relieving pleasure that sex wishes it could give you. However, what popcorn is most famous for is its ability to pop, going from a small hard kernel to a soft puffy food in a matter of an instant. And after you think it over for a bit, you start to wonder how this this change can happen in a snap like that. What makes popcorn pop? This is the imponderable, where we answer the questions you've never asked. Now before I get into the science, I do want to mention that popcorn is said to have originated 10,000 years ago from Native Americans that were in Mexico. Now I could get into how they popped it or what corn they used, but honestly, I don't care. You shouldn't care, and I swear to God, if I were to have a bunch of corn experts coming into my comments telling me that my classifications for corn isn't correct, your boy will go from popping corn to popping a cap straight in his head. But I bring the Native Americans up because they had their own reason for why popcorn popped. And given how these are the Native Americans we're talking about, there's only one logical reason for anything happening in this world. It's me, Austin! Oh, son of a bitch! That's right. The gods did it. Basically, they thought that spirits were kept inside the kernels, because, you know, if I was a god, I'd want to be trapped in this bullshit. And on top of that, if the Native Americans were to heat their homes to a certain extent, the gods inside of the kernel would get angry, and eventually, once it reached a certain level of heat, the god would burst out of the shell and leave in a puff of smoke. Now, while I could be an ethnocentrist douche all I want about that, I do have to remember that on the internet, I look like this, so I don't really know if anyone's going to care what I have to say about anything. After all, popcorn still was an important part of Native American culture, and apparently it's said that there might have been popcorn at the very first Thanksgiving, meaning that Snoopy was kind of onto something. And I guess in the mind of a Native American, you could say that there was a sense of pride in eating popcorn, as in their minds, it was the remnants of a god. So when they ate it, they probably felt like they were more powerful than ever. Unfortunately, it didn't make them immune to smallpox, but anyway, the real reason why popcorn pops or at least the reason the gods want you to believe, involves its structure. Now, the main parts of a popcorn kernel are the hull, which is the outer shell that you break your teeth on, and the endosperm, which is the inside of a popcorn kernel. And you know damn well your boy got some sweet depression finding out that the term endosperm related to something that he was putting in his mouth and swallowing. It should be stressed, though, that when it pops, it's coming from the endosperm. That sentence sounded great, didn't it? All jokes aside, though, the endosperm is made of approximately 86% hard starch. Meanwhile, the 14% of water that's in it is the main difference maker. When a popcorn kernel is heated, the water obviously will evaporate, but due to the hole being very strong, it'll be trapped in there, allowing pressure to build up. Additionally, the increasing heat will cause the hard starch to gelatinize. Now, this is where some things can go wrong. If there's a break in the hull, the steam within the kernel can easily escape out of that crack. Or if the kernel is being heated at a low temperature, it won't build up enough pressure for the hole to break. However, if the circumstances are right, a series of events will happen all at once. Once the pressure inside the kernel becomes too great, the hole will break open and the steam will escape. This will result in the starch puffing out, and due to the steam escaping, the temperature will drop immediately and the starch will go back to its solid form. This is now popcorn. It's pretty much the same thing that happens whenever you're out with your girl and the man I enter the vicinity, her top immediately pops off. Crazy, right? So with all that being said, what makes popcorn pop? When the block gets hot, this pot finna pop.